students. Real thoughts. The water cooler. <laughs> so earlier today we talked about Clive, Clive and Bundy, and how he, um, you know, has been going on a racial tirade lately, and a lot of people. No one really on our panel knew about it. So now we're going to talk about Ron Sterling. You guys hear about what happened Donald, to Ron? Donald, Donald, Donald Sterling? Donald, Sorry, Donald. I keep saying Ron Sterling. Donald Sterling? That's his. I think I called him Roger. Yeah. Donald? <laughs> Donald? I think that's a reference to a <laughs> Mad Men character. So. <laughs> there you go. Well, Andre, have you heard anything about his the tyrants? And... Oh, not Cliven's. I just found out now. Yeah. So. But have you heard about Don Sterling? Yeah. 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 Why do you think that Don Sterling has been all over the media when the two of them are pretty much doing the same it's thing? The same thing. I mean, <clears throat> when you're uh, in a like a, a big place where media is like constant, obviously it's going to get that kind of attention. Clive is just some random dude. Yeah. Like I mean, he's he's more in trouble with the government than he is with black people, and he just kind of threw out those. From what I understand, he just threw out those statements because he's just mad. Yeah. So that's whatever. Just like. He can go like kick a horse or something because he's just mad. So he's just like, oh, black people. I'm like, oh. Everyone's like, all right, well, you're just mad because the government wants $1.1 million from you. Other than that, like, uh, yeah, with, with the NBA being the NBA, it's a huge source of you know, revenue and whatnot. So obviously, it's going to get that much more attention. Yeah. Um, do you think, like, do any of you think that the whole reason why this is getting more attention is because it was said, you know, he said it in jest. He didn't like realize that he's being taped. I mean, Cliven went out there and said this by himself publicly. So why wouldn't that get more attention? You know, you're saying it knowing that everyone's going to hear it. I, I think it kind of has to do with, well, yeah, of course we're talking about he's an NBA owner. So this yeah. is a very prestigious position. There's, you know, there's yeah. 30 teams. He's an owner of, you know, a franchise, and these things are valued. All, of, you know, most of them are valued at over $500 million, a billion dollars. Yeah. So when you're in that position, you just really can't say those things. Well, and that and black people play basketball, too. Yeah. So. yeah. It's, it's, so, it's, such an interesting, it's such an interesting kind of... Yeah, it's such an interesting don't let any blacks into my stadium, but I'll just have half yeah. of a team of black people. Yeah, he, yeah, he's really paying hundreds of millions of dollars to black people, yeah. but then he doesn't want them to come <laughs> so to the yeah. NBA. It's such so kind of like a weird dynamic. Weird. Not to you mention his mistress is obviously yeah. and, not and it really Irish. Only became, it you know? only really became a problem, I, I feel like, when it came out to the public and all the other owners, you know, it starts to affect the bottom line mm -hmm. when, you know, one owner is doing something bad like that. And now we're going to have this vote to see whether he comes out or not. Mm -hmm. um, so once it starts to touch the bottom line, then it's a whole nother deal. Because these owners and some of his friends, people had to know this guy was racist. Yeah, so no, it's not really. It's like common knowledge that this dude is just a Yeah, oh, yeah. Jerk. He, yeah, he, um, apparently he owned some property and he was just like, getting black people evicted because he said they smelled bad and that they were just like, you know, these things that are just like, oh, yeah, ridiculous. Exactly. and he had like sexual, like, a, he had yeah, sexual, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, he harassment charges and things yeah. like that. So it's like, you know, well, he's really rich, so I'm sure that that doesn't matter. Well, what do you, you think, know? do you think, as the players, do you think it would have been better because it's such a racial comment that they became free agents and made a statement for themselves? That would be awesome if a whole team just became free agents. Over I, mean, that. I mean, it's not really In this day possible. and age, but, but that you would be... play for your city, so like I understand your owner is is uh, you know is crooked, but like yeah, but it's ra it's it's a racial comment. Well, you don't play for your as city. a you black man, him. wouldn't you want to stand up to? Well, then you stop the playing for your owner. Yeah. You start playing for Doc kind of, Rivers, and then you yeah. play for Los Angeles. That's why they kind of threw yeah. the yeah, you know the warm ups down. So that's what they were saying. Yeah, and like, I think I agree. You know? I don't think as long as Doc Rivers is behind them, I'm like just go out and play basketball. Yeah. I know it's like a it's a nuisance to kind of deal with it while you're playing, but like. As long as you can go out there and you know your coach is behind you, like I would just be like, F it. I, I, I kind of have a question for Sono. I don't know okay. sports like in um, India or anything <laughs> like that. Is there like, has there ever been anything like this? or Like racist? Uh, racist or just like outrage at like something a sports person did where they were just like, this is just too much. Banned him or something. Like or like, yeah. like uh, not like banned yeah. him, but I think in cricket, like, you know, the whole Pakistan and Indian team like you know the controversy <clears throat> so there are like always topics like if Pakistan wins and if if India loses pr with Pakistan and they actually go and burn players houses and stuff yeah. like, that. uh, okay. like that serious I mean <clears throat> it's racist to some extent yeah. because it's just a game like don't take yeah. it that seriously it's just cricket yeah. as in like in teams no because we all are Indian so we can't be <clears throat> racist towards each other that's, that's stupid yeah. well like think about it 
all the stuff that you say to your friends in private about yeah. this and stuff. Is there anything you've ever said that you wouldn't want other people to hear? And that's yeah. the real truth have, to it. I have it's personal, privacy. I, I've papered that off. Like I'm almost at a level where like I'm comfortable with like everything I say. But yeah, oh, when I was younger, yeah. oh my god! Like, does anyone remember the things you would say when you were younger, like to your friends that are just like, oh, yeah. if you think of it now, you would just like cringe, like, why would I even say that or do that? And it's like, that's a lie. I, mean, I can't tell yeah. you the stories right now on the air. <laughs> Grace, do you think he'd be able to come back from this? Do you think he'll have a career? It will go away? Why does he need a career though? He's like so old. <laughs> well, you know what I mean, like, like billions of dollars. I don't know. Well, think about that's the Paula Dean. The greed, dude. Yeah. American greed. Like, we can just talk about American greed now. Like, <laughs> for so long because it gets to a point. Like, I mean, not even him. The players, like, oh, you know, after my first contract, like, I signed a hundred million dollar contract. Yeah. After that, oh, I need more money. Like, I have to. Like, it doesn't even matter about this or that. Like, my I need sucks. that next like hundred million dollar contract for five years. Like, how am I gonna be my family? <laughs> 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 ridiculous. It is think about it. It's funny though when you see like football players, like after they retire, and like a good like ten years pass, and they just they're broke. Yeah, because they yeah. can't afford their lifestyle anymore. Good. Well, what do you think this does about us as a culture and as a nation? It said, well, it continues kind of the um, the idea that depending on how rich you are, you have a lot more leniency. Like, like oh, this yeah. guy, like nothing, you know. Well, once again, it's not illegal to be racist. Yeah. But nothing's gonna happen to him. I mean, if he loses his job, I don't. Is it even a job to own like, an NBA Paul, team? Like, yeah. he's the I mean, owner. <laughs> for instance, Paula Dean. We all know what happened with Paula Dean, oh, right? Oh God. Did you hear? Wait, is she yeah. back on? She's yeah. getting a comeback. Yeah. And Michael Richards? Oh, yeah. He's got a show? Yeah. Did they, uh, uh, should it be deserved? I mean, he's, he doesn't need a show because he's bad. Yeah. He's yeah. on his own show because you know I know he's on a show. He's on a show. But still, he's got a career. I mean, Someone hired him. I think sometimes people don't want to be racist, but they say something not knowingly that it's racist. Yeah. Then it yeah. becomes yeah. like a big yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's like a Everyone's a little bit racist. That's a structural kind of thing. Avenue Q, everyone's a little bit racist. Like, everyone, I say sometimes yeah. stuff that is like yeah. super racist, but yeah. I don't mean it. <laughs> well, how how long do you think before we should forgive these people? Like, you should it always be I something I mentioned. About already. I, for, I really don't yeah. like feel that. Like, I don't feel like he's I, I a feel crazy like... racist. He's just he just lost his cool. And, <laughs> and everyone's like, oh, he's a racist. Yeah. He's like, oh. And he's I, mean, I think. Well, first of all. I guess you got to think of whether someone's good at their job. But at yeah. the same time, no. I mean, I don't think you hire racists just... Well, it depends on the people who are hiring them. Obviously, they don't think it's that important. But it's not because, like because going, money yeah. and other things are more important to a lot of people, to pretty much everyone, unfortunately. Saving but if face. it was me, I would not. I just wouldn't hire yeah. racists just because I don't believe in it. And I just don't think it's right. Just some type in Donald Sterling's girlfriend. Well, yeah, not only did she snitch, <laughs> Dolly did she snitch, but she has yeah, over 100 hours like, more of tape of him. What else she did been walking say? around. Like, like, why is she yeah. his mistress then? Like, is she in for the egg? Like, oh, I'm going to bust well, this. It was his girlfriend, dude. not his mistress. Oh. It's his, it's a, yeah, it was his girlfriend. So, like, like why? What? Like, what's she wants for to money. be president for money. Of Canada, like America, not yeah. Canada. She wants to be the yeah, she's the yeah. one walking around wearing riot gear, I mean, right? Like, <laughs> like, we don't know yeah. it's you. Well, like, and she's being sued. How can you be president when you just... Leaking tapes. Like, How can you be the like president when over. you have no experience doing anything and no one knows who you are until right now? Like, well, we all know who she president. is now. She's not going to be the president. I'm yeah. going to leak these tapes. If Sarah Palin didn't make it, space. Not but, uh, if I was president, that, that wouldn't play. If Sarah Palin didn't make it, she's not going to make it. Not only That's that, say what says that. it about her that she was dating a man like that when she's not well, a white girl? Well, it says that she's <laughs> mostly a she's mostly a gold digger, probably. Yeah, like yeah. most. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you, guys are, you guys are women. If a guy who has a billion dollars is like courting you, you're not. That, that, are you going to a, a billion? Like you know, this guy has a billion yeah. dollars, and he's, you know, but, but and if you know that, why would you snitch? <laughs> she obviously doesn't care. Like she thinks she, she has that much power like, no. now. Shouldn't we well, be looking at her as how do you date a man with these values, telling yeah, you uh, not to bring oh, I'm sure Spanish and care. black people to his games when half his team is? She doesn't care. And he has a he's had a she past history. Fame, he's been sued. Like, he's settled. Fame. Yeah. yeah. His money uh, wasn't yeah. enough. She now she needs her own. Clearly did not so. use her brains. Clearly. That's just, yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah. If a billion dollar, if someone with a billion dollars was trying to court me, I don't know. I would probably. You'd probably <laughs> not snitch on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't snitch on them. I just don't. I'd be scared. People with a billion dollars can do a lot of stuff. I'd be, yeah, so I'd be terrified. Why are you snitching? Yeah, well, now I don't know. They're, you ever see House of Cards? Oh. They're trying no. to force him to sell the team, <laughs> and there's rumors that Oprah is going to buy the team. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. yeah, this is true. Publicly? That's the thing. Owners yeah. don't do anything. That proves yeah. it. So, I mean, she would just be making some decision. Like, like, she's trying to put a name out there for herself and stand up for her. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't, I guess. I wouldn't I want her to be the owner like, of my oh. team, but... Uh, yeah. <laughs>
I think it's like, oh, white dude said something racist, like, so I'm yeah. black, so I'm gonna support. I think it's, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just coming up with my own. It's a hot button racial topic. Yeah, no, but, no, well, I mean, obviously, we have a lot of people, well, we have Larry Johnson saying there should be an all-black basketball league, which is ridiculous. <laughs> then we have, then we have Magic Johnson say he would be part of a group that would buy, yeah, so it is that kind of thing. It is like, yeah. this guy is racist, so let's have, you know, the people that he's racist yeah. against. Yeah. kind of uh, take control Everyone and there's nothing like, wrong with that like they're very rich people as well who can do that yeah. you know if they want to buy a basketball team they can do it anyway oh, yeah. it feels like like a, a stunt to me because like all right this old white dude just said something racist now the whole black community is going to go and try and like everyone's going to buy back. the team like, yo, yeah. every, like every yeah. black yeah. summer is like yo we go buy the team back like every black rapper from los angeles is going to come like yo we're going to buy the team of well, course every famous person is like yo i mean <laughs> can you blame Maybe them? Yeah, especially if that's yeah. like their community can that's you blame true, them yeah, i mean that's like what they're supposed that's what they're supposed to do because yeah. yeah. it really is a community thing and that's those are the people that own like donald sterling from that you know mm -hmm. those are the people that own those teams it's no it's not really but why buy a basketball team if you have those views why not a hockey team <laughs> to be honest, yeah, yeah, why no, do you like pick there's, basketball? There's like over, where, Wait, why? Greg, can we get, can What's we get his Greg? reasoning? Can we get Greg? I'm sure he knows how many black people yeah. played hockey in the last 10 no, years. Probably like no, 15. Vinny, how, how, how many people? Hockey? How many blacks are there in the uh, There's like three or four players. How many three of them? Yeah, players. over the last yep. 10 years. There was a point where there was one, I remember, yeah. on the Rangers. So. Our producer. There was like four, I think. Okay, Nick, so over the last 10 years, there have been a combined name. number of five. Pisano Pasano knows them by name. So, yeah, That's how little yeah, there like, is in yeah, so, NFL. I mean, he could have he avoided this whole thing. If you want to own it, yeah. I, I, yeah. I don't really... <laughs> I think it's just, like, for, like, uh, getting attention that Oprah is like, I, I support my race. <laughs> I want to buy it. So I'm going to go. I have all the money in the world, so why not? It's just... I, I, I feel like the... Can we just talk about the owners of sports teams generally as a thing are just doing it to be famous like to get money yeah, yeah. because they're it's already investment. incredibly rich yeah. they don't care about they don't have anything to do with the trades or anything like gotta, all they can do is say no to something and then you have to listen to them they but they don't really yeah, they gotta but think yeah. about why he said it did he say because of the people that he wants at his games like yeah, do you yeah, think he maybe he, he didn't say anything about the players but yeah. i mean that's just it's so offensive which is yeah it's still wrong but but then like, or are you saying to get audiences to get to the game? But what does he think it's going to bring a bro bad crowd to watch the game? No. Granted, half his team is Los black. Black, but, but then I know, yeah. most of the people who yeah, yeah, yeah. investors yeah. maybe. Too. Like everyone yeah. who comes to the game are mostly majority of black. So oh like, man, I wish we had some television. I don't know. I think what? I listened to it and he just said that it made him look bad that she hung out. People. That was like made him yeah. look bad. Yeah. Made you him have look so bad. much money. Nothing that makes like you look bad, bad, really. Like, yeah. I, I feel like. Yeah. But she really. Right? Why do you care what other people He's having such a. He's that. having such a hard time because he'll you, like. If you had one line to say to him, what would you say? Oh man, that's weird. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know Honestly, I'd be like, hey, what's up? Would you give him a hug? Give him a hug. Uh, I'm going to like retire. Yeah. He would never. Just oh, like be man. racist in your own home. Yeah. He, just, just to disappear for a little bit. He's got like 20 more years to live. Yeah. Like, <laughs> hey, he's I, rich, you know. I saw a headline that said like Roger Sterling might lose his team, but he's going to die anyway. Donald. <laughs> Donald, not Roger. Donald. Donald. <laughs> well, his, yeah. is his son-in-law Ronald? I think so. Yeah, his son-in-law came yeah. out and disowned him too to save his face. Good. But so many people for got paid off by him before, yeah, supposedly. I mean, so I mean it's not like say? it's a new thing. What, what, would, you what would I say to, to Donald Sterling? Yeah. I would probably just, um, I mean, nothing I could say to him would matter because he, I wouldn't, I, we're too not rich enough to even be in the same area as him. <laughs> if I was ever near him, I would just be like, nothing I say matters to you. And then I would just leave. I mean, because that, it's just yeah. the truth. I don't really know that I could say anything to him, right. really. You could, like, ask for money. What's the worst he says? No. I'm like, oh, well, yeah, 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 I could, you owe me. I could do that. Can like, I have like a hundred Oh, man, the reparations his, card. His, oh, my God. His money. reaction to that would probably be the most offensive, right. like, <laughs> spew of, like, racist things that would ever happen. Like, and sell it to TMZ and then oh. still get money anyway. <laughs> well, well either that. way, okay. we know that he has his strong views. His girlfriend is apparently crazy, and hopefully she doesn't run for president, because I don't think that's going to be very well for her. God. And we learned that, for some reason, we know more about him than Clive Bundy, but it's all because of money, and, money yeah. and that's Mundy? our culture. Yeah, Mundy. 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 So, Mundy, well, Mundy, Mundy, Mundy. That's it for the water cooler. Make sure to tune in next week. See you later. Stay tuned for our shows later on this afternoon. Especially the recent rundown. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>